Hello YouTube, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. Um, this is part 11, and I am in... What was this? Misty Blog. Couldn't remember the name, but... There we go. Um, well, this is a fairly straightforward level. If you charge those guys, you will not bounce off of them, you will just run straight into their mouths and get eaten. So, I do not suggest that. Yeah, they chew you up and spit you out. Literally. Got these giant codes with ranged attacks. Ah! Yeah, that stuff, which you can't really get out of once you get in. So it's better just to drown. I think that's the last time you'll ever hear that. Better to let yourself drown than try to get out. But you should appreciate that. Like that. That's a ranged attack. They hit you with their tongue, which I guess is poison or something. Sharp. Maybe it's poison. You see the green lights on there. And these are the same as always. Watch out for the trees. Not as bad as the second one, where the trees look exactly the same as normal ones. You can't tell the difference between the two. And the bushes, too. Actually, you can tell the difference between the trees. They have. Damn it! The fake trees have beehives on them, the real ones don't, but the fake bushes and real ones are like impossible to tell apart until they start charging at you. That's right, I'm leaving some of those behind. As you can see, it is not a good idea to charge the frogs. You should probably just flame them too. Not like that, just use fire breath. Roscoe. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. So they're frogs. Did I say frogs or toads? I think I said both. Um, anyway, your fodder in here, which I didn't mention earlier, are. They are chickens. Again. And there are chickens on the next level I'm going to do today, too. This part's pretty easy, just, you know, bam, 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 honest. Bam. Don't worry, I'll kill him. Let's yeah, make a chicken trap. Let's see if it works. It does work! This part I remember having a little bit of trouble. It's like Indian Jones, frog style. Oh yeah, that's why I had trouble with it. I didn't actually do a test run on this level, because I didn't have the time. I did one on the next level, but I don't know why I didn't do one on this one. I didn't feel like this was something. Probably that. Yeah, that's probably it. I think that is it. I don't know. I got both cigarettes ready, so I'm not going to get it again. Alright, just start charging randomly through here, hope you get out alive. It's like my dad always used to say, the worst part about losing sparks is you can't pick up the gems. And I'm almost up for an extra life. Nice. I just got an extra life. And now I am done. 
fucking in here again. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh, no. Why? I remember... Uh, gotta go! That is not the voice I expected him to have. Not at all. Um, yeah, there's some stuff around here. I think there's some stuff back in this way. Hundred and thirty watch hours. Let's get those two frogs. Nope. Didn't want that. Well, I'm glad I did that now. Uh crap. Oh well at least I don't have to go back there. Actually, I just have to go around. Yep. Looks like it. Back to here. With the killer trees. And kill this guy. And what the hell, I'll kill that guy too. Reminds me of Twisted Metal and some of the other guys flying. Okay, yeah, that's what happens when you get eaten by a tree. They chew you off, spit you off. Zeke! Thank you for releasing me. Oh, it's just a boring one. Ah! I don't know what's going on here, but I don't like it. Somewhat expecting that. Kill you, kill you. I cannot be good for his head. I don't know if I said that earlier. Wow, how did I get that? I should 
probably go on this guy free. Bubba. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! <laughs> uh huh. How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons after all. If only I could do that. Alright, the last guy in this level, I believe. Wow, there was a lot higher one right there. I didn't know where I was going there for a second. After this one, I am going to do a Terrace Village, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that one yet. That one's actually a really straightforward level with almost no secrets. So. And you can see every secret area from the main path. It fairly short too, but the secret areas are actually really hard to get to at the same time. I think I made a good, did a good job blending in the stairs of the scenery here. Next one, it's not as bad as that Paper Mario Thousand Year Door one, but the one where you gotta get in that Twilight town place. Ow. Um, this is like seven gems. He has so much money. Found everything except for just a few. Actually, if I'm missing two, it's probably this. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so I'm back. I found that last two was in the chest I missed. So I didn't really think that was important, so I kinda took it out. And here's Terrace Village. Uh, short level? fairly straightforward. You can see all the secret areas from the main path. The problem is getting to them. It's one set of very well hidden stairs. Watch out for those lightning cannon gun 
or at the least, whatever you want to call them. But for the most part, if you kill them quick, you'll be fine. Huh, they do target practice, not check out. It's amazing how much stuff you notice and then forget about and then notice the next time you play. Yep, that's right, your fodder is chickens yet again. Lose chest. This one I did actually play test, so. Kinda glad it was this one, not the last one, because this one took me a while to remember where to get the crap. Last one was just me forgetting one area. I guess I grabbed them all. And you're back at the start of the level. Right over there. That is three. And those five. Right, there were three gems, but their total was five. I can add. Flawed. Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stings. Just wait until they get guns. That's right, they get machine guns. Hey, they're listening to their Walkman. I wonder what songs. Thunderstar, KCDC, Rise of Lightning, Metallica, uh, Beethoven's Fifth, Beethoven. I don't judge, okay? Just because they're like electricity doesn't mean all their songs have to be about it. I mean, for all I know, they could be listening to classical or something. Samba, they could be listening to. Hard Rock? I don't know. That guy's got a nipple piercing. And listening to his Walkman, too. I'm saying Walkman because I'm pretty sure this was before MP3 players and iPods. Well, I know it was before iPods. I'm not sure about MP3 players. Or even if those were before iPods, I'm not very good at that kind of stuff. Cyprin. Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. Don't worry, the next level is a lot cooler than this one. If you like magic robots, you'll love the next level. And then Nasties is where they start using machine guns on you. And grenades. That's right, it's a platformer where they use machine guns and grenades. Unless you count Half-Life as a platformer. Because it kinda is in a way. Kind of, I don't know. First person shooter platformer. All I know is that it's fun. Um, then we go this way. Ah, crap. Those guys are getting really annoying. Really fast. Well, those platforms don't look like metal. I don't. I think metal bends that way. Well, it does, but not like a rock. And yes, I know metal is made out of rocks. Kind of. I 
mean, I know what metal is. I took chem. These are the stairs I was talking about. They actually blend in pretty well. I mean, if you're looking from it, or at it from down below, they really blend in really well. Grab that one. I don't think there's anything there. And then just glide around over to here. We already have every dragon, we just need 75 more gems. Take that, 61. These are fun to watch. Oh crap, 31 more gems. And that's right, if you fall you have to go all the way back to start. Oh, I forgot about those 10. Which would bring us down to 21, right? No. We needed 41 before, now we need 31. I don't know. It's break. Normally I'm pretty good at that. Normally. Oh, just barely made it. Up. Um, we'll climb up the steps. Go around. Jump up here. Jump up there. And we need 17 more. Let's see. Is that 17? That is 17. And that is... I think that's all of Beast Makers, except for the boss, Metalhead, and the Speedway, which is the name of I forgot. So join me next time when I do that, and then I will be doing Dreamweavers, which is an awesome, awesome homeworld that I have not seen beat since. I mean, I like it about as much as Magic Crafters, but Magic Crafters is a little too small for me. This one's really cool. Yeah, I don't think any other Spyro homeworld is beating it that I've played. Maybe Midnight, no. Maybe Midnight Mountain and the third one. That one was pretty cool. But that's uh, close. Well, until then, see ya.